Hello everyone, this is Ben at Rust Sound. I'd like to show you a nifty trick you can set up with an ABUS product. We're going to talk about adding a BTA2 Bluetooth module to an ABUS system, whether it's a new or existing install. This would allow you to add a local Bluetooth source input for each and every room that you want Bluetooth audio in. And this is compatible with any of our current and past generation ABUS products. Let me show you what I have set up here in front of us today. We have an ABUS AH2, although we do make a few different flavors of these ABUS hubs. This is just the one we're using for an example today. Got a good old power supply connected, a local analog source, and I have one keypad connected right here in front of us here. Now you'll also notice I have a BTA2 module right on the side here. So let's take a look at how this works. Looking at the back of our ABUS keypad, on your right side, you will see our AK4 keypad. Now, I don't have speakers connected, but you, of course, will connect your speakers normally to the speaker outputs here, where my thumb is on the right. What do we do with our BTA2, you might ask? Well, I'm going to show you. What we'll first want to do is power the hub down. So, always make sure we remove the power supply before these products, before we modify any additional connections. So, go ahead and take that power supply out. Now normally with a, an ABUS system, we have one single Cat5 wire run running to our respective keypads. Our BTA2 is going to be an item that lives in between these products. So what you'll end up doing is, let me just grab something here to remove this Cat5 connection. Alright, we have removed that now. So normally your Cat5 wire run, of course, would run directly to your ABUS keypad. In this case, with our BTA2, we have both an input and an output. In this situation, we are going to run our Cat5 wire run to the input on the BTA2. And then we will take a second Cat5 wire. Shorter is probably better for this application, of course. You're likely going to have these two components side by side in a double gang box. We're going to run this second Cat5 wire from the output of the BTA2 to the input on our AK4 keypad. So now we have simply a setup going from our ABUS hub out from one of our keypad ports. Cat5 wire run is coming up, stopping at the BTA2, going in and out via second Cat5 wire, finally ending in our AK4 keypad where, of course, we'll have speakers hooked up. At this point now, we've made all of our connections, so we can reinsert our power supply, and the system is now on. We can, of course, operate our keypad as normal, and this keypad, by default, will play our local analog audio source here. If we're working with an AH-484, we do have four sources we could cycle through. With an AH2, like displayed here, and an AH4, we only have one. At this point, though, our BTA2 is now active. With any Bluetooth-capable device, a smartphone, a tablet, even a PC, you can scan and discover, and then connect to the BTA2. Renaming software is available on the Rust Sound portal, allowing you to name this device unique, and assign it a unique PIN number as well. And that's it. As soon as the phone or other Bluetooth device is connected, You'll get a solid blue LED lit up here, letting you know it's currently in use. And this product will override the ABUS system for this one room only with Bluetooth local audio. Easy as that. This allows you to add a Bluetooth source to any ABUS system, past or present, and greatly expand an existing ABUS system. Thank you for joining. Take care.